our season is it slipping away, clinging onto that spot in the eight. A rough shot, getting a little rougher at the weekend with that loss to the Sharkies. Still to come, Gal, Dragons, Knights, a week off, and the Roosters. Where are they at? Well, you think they'd scrape in with that run. I mean, that's a pretty decent run home. You'd like that run if you're the Parramatta to side, for example. But without doubt, they're slipping away. I don't want to take nothing away from the Sharks on the weekend. I thought the Sharks, as I said earlier, were pretty good against Penrith the week before. And it did not surprise me they put in that performance against South Sydney on the weekend whatsoever. They dominated for much of that game, to be honest. Really shut them down in, in all areas. Shut Walker down, shut Latrell down. Uh, but they haven't been good for a couple of months now, the Bunnies. And obviously part of it's been because Latrell's been out. I think Toll is another one who is very good middle for them. He's been out, hasn't played a lot of footage. He's only played 12 or 13 games this whole season. They've now lost Burgess and Arrow, um, or maybe Arrow. You know, he's, he's had a back spasm, but Burgess is out for three weeks. So it's going to be get tough for them without a doubt. But I, I still think they've got enough class in their side. They should be able to... Beat the Dragons, I think they play this week, don't yeah, they? Yeah, you've got to go to Cairns to do it, though. Yeah, I know, but uh, you'd like to think they're playing for their season um, and, and they're going to turn it, turn around somewhat and, uh, and scrape into the semi finals. You think they can, Gus? Well, if they don't get the message after the weekend, they'll never get it. You know, a few of us predicted it before it happened. The club was unaware it was coming, but we saw it play out for us on, uh, on Saturday night. The Sharks led them 26 0, and it was just a high energy team up against a very lazy team, and they've been lazy for a number of, a, a number of weeks. Uh, they probably needed to get beaten like that to ram it home to them to get the message. Gus, you were quite you know, strong in your comments last week about Luttrell um, and you copped a bit for it. Um, what did you see and why did you, why did you make those comments? Well, what we did on last week's show was you put, up, like, you put the spine and the lock forward for South Sydney up against the spine and the lock forward for the Panthers. And you all said, you know, these are the two contenders for the competition which I disagreed with. I didn't think South were a contender at the moment. I think, I think I said they're not in the same postcode as a premiership contender right at the moment the way they're playing. And I said the difference between the two spines is that that's a premiership winning spine at Penrith and this one is yet to be proven and yet to be doing it. If they're going to do it, Latrell Mitchell's going to have to be big, but he hasn't done it as a playmaking fullback at this end of the year ever. All right? He needs to lift his game to get it done. There's been some laziness and some, some poor stuff in the South Sydney side. They get away with beating a lot of the weaker teams. And some of the games, when you go back and look at it, a lot of the times it was against 12 men with big penalty counts in their favour. Um, when things get tough and they can't get it to themselves, they're generally beaten and they generally concede points pretty easily. Now, they probably think that they can snap out of it any time they like, but they've lost, what, five of their last seven? All right, they were embarrassed at 26-0 the other night. Um, probably Sharks got tired more than the South Sydney Mount of the comeback. It was a little bit fluky the way they went about it. So that's got to ram home the message. You know, I don't watch the football with my eyes painted on. I've been doing this a long time. And I could just tell that South Sydney weren't in the running for this premiership whilst a lot of people thought they were. Now they're really battling and walking the tightrope to make a top eight spot. Have they got the ability to threaten the good sides of the back end of the year? Of course, they've got the talent, but talent's not enough. Talent is not enough. Work ethic and hardness and fitness and mental strength is really, really important. And I'm just not seeing any evidence of that in their football whatsoever. Now, maybe the people within the organisation got a better read on it after Saturday night. Danny, quick one. Uh, Sam Burgess, could they be losing him from the coaching ranks? Well, there's some talk about him going to Warrington. And, look, I've, from what I know of Sam, he's got a strong ambition to coach. Uh, and it would be a fantastic th thing for him if he could get a start because I think he's got the makings of uh, a very good coach. He's widely respected by the players. Uh, tough guy from everything he did on the field. And... I'd love to see it happen.